Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Brian. And we're excited to see you on November 24th at Orchestra Hall. It's going to be our Symphony Orchestra's fall concert. And one of the interesting things about this program is that there are only two composers featured. That's right, only two. Brahms. And Stravinsky. Yeah, and we're going to give you a little window into their world and, and the, the environment in which they were writing to help you better appreciate and better understand the concert. I'm going to start with Johannes Brahms, mm. German composer, 1833 to 1897 are his dates. And he's a composer who's often kind of wrongly considered to be too academic, too mechanically attached to traditional forms and traditional compositional techniques from the classical era, from the Baroque era, uh, but really it's not true. He used those forms, those techniques like counterpoint from, from Bach, but uh, really he applied them fully in kind of a romantic style. So in a sense he transcended the old forms with his own language and his own way of writing it. So in the words of Arnold Schoenberg, famous 20th century composer, he was a progressive. Hmm. Now that might be a little surprising to hear somebody like That's Schoenberg, Schoenberg. <laughs> who was very progressive with his, his harmonic language in particular, uh, but he was really inspired by what Brahms had done as a composer in the late 19th century um, alongside a lot of his contemporaries. So um, my sort of opinion is that Brahms, with his music, and you'll hear this with the Violin Concerto on Sunday, uh, he kind of set the stage for the 20th century and for all the things that would happen there with uh, not only just Schoenberg, mm -hmm. but with Stravinsky, who was also featured on our concert. Right, absolutely. And as you mentioned, Brahms dies in 1897. And in 1910, Stravinsky has his big debut um, with the Firebird and the Ballet Russe. So that's only 13 years later. Not very you think long. about what's going on in the midst of those 13 years, it's pretty crazy because you're going through everything from WC to Schoenberg and his students, Berg and Webern. And of course, they were doing some really interesting things and inciting riots of their own. Um, and you know, this leads us to Stravinsky, who is often sort of pigeonholed as like the bad boy because he had the right of spring riot and you know all of this sort of like ooh has this atmosphere of for whatever reason has been attached to him. But in reality, uh, there's a lot more crazy things happening around Stravinsky. Um, both his contemporaries, <laughs> and also he actually was in a lot of ways a lot more traditional than you would think. And he studied with Rimsky-Korsakov, who of course is one of the, the great Russian Romantic composers, mm -hmm. and who's renowned for his ability to create all sorts of different colors from the orchestra. He's a master of orchestration, and so this is who Stravinsky was studying with—a very traditional kind of uh, form, you know, formulating thing for him. So. Uh, you, he takes all of those elements and he uses them in different ways. He adds a whole bunch of folk rhythms and a lot of uh, you know, really aggressive pulsing sounds. But right. really, in the grand scheme of things, it's just quite tonal. Um, it's pretty structured. <laughs> yeah. So you, know, you can hear that in, in, certainly in the Firebird. You hear a lot of Rimsky-Korsakov's influence in that. In the Symphony in Three Movements, you hear a lot of Stravinsky. I mean, some of it is very, you know, sort of Rite of Spring-esque in its visceralness. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a symphony in three movements. So, you know, he uses, it, it doesn't really function as a symphony, but he calls it a symphony. So, you know, there's a bit of that's a traditionalist in everyone, I guess. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But our main takeaway is don't come with you know, assumptions about who these composers are, or what they've done. Don't pigeonhole them like history has, and just come see for yourself. That's right. Sunday, November 24th at Orchestra Hall, you'll get a chance to hear the Brahms Violin Concerto, Opus 77, Stravinsky's Symphony in Three Movements, mm -hmm. and to cap off the evenings, Stravinsky's Firebird Suite. It's going to be great. We'll see you there.